this about from your perspective? What do you remember of it? What were you thinking? I have one very tall, very fast left-hander on the right and uh, slightly shorter righty on the, on the right. Hmm. When you come in, you're bringing your every step forward, you're bringing your back leg all the way under your body. I don't I don't like that it's it's not grounded enough for you to get a to get any good push off of it I think you ran out of gas uh, t32 of European junior championships would, would be a good place to run out of gas it's hard it's a long tournaments I'm not really seeing any threats from you. You're, um, there, there's one, but we're a minute in really. You're kind of going into distance, waiting for him to do something and then running away. And the running away part isn't bad, but if you're gonna go into distance and as a bait for him, oh, good touch. Uh, then you have to do exactly that and, and stay close. What happened there? Yeah. So now you're a lot better at, at staying in distance when you, when you draw him in. And that's gotten you two touches so far. Yeah. Maybe it was just nerves at the beginning. Let's see what else we got. Your hand is ready, um, but it doesn't really look like your your feet and your body is ready. You're very tense and jumpy, which can contribute to be you're being out of gas. Um, but he's coming at you and you're flinching, and even if you catch the parry frequently, that leaves you out of the position to make a repost. So that would be the thing that you, you might want to work on is being relaxed as you as you go into distance and, and draw on your opponent. There are there are opportunities there that you're missing, like that one, where because you're not ready to attack. One step of his is like two of yours. Yeah, but that's good. Oh, that was a really nice attack. That was a really good flush. Uh, because every step you take, you have the opportunity to, to change and control it. And if he's only going one step, he can't do that while he's stepping. So you have more control if you're doing two steps to one. You want smaller steps in fencing, it's better. Yeah, you, look, you just look tense and it's uh, throwing off your blade work and your footwork. Like that could have been a deeper, a deeper lunge. That was really nice though. Let's watch that one more time. Push, pull, push, pull, push. And then you see him not really going back anymore and you drop low and catch him on the leg. That was a really well done touch. Try the same thing again, he just flushed you. Yeah. 
He's figured out that you're not much. You haven't been threatening him coming in. You're waiting for him to, to go back. And so he's coming in and then hitting you. So your next adjustment here should be threatening. He eats a lot of distance with one step. Let's see. I don't think so. I think, I think, and I'll look again in the second period. I think what you're seeing with that distance is he takes a step and then also sticks his hand out. So you think he's going very far forward because suddenly his tip's a lot closer, but he's not a lot closer, just his arm is. Let's see though. He eats a lot of distance with a lunge, that's for sure. Yeah, his arm's coming forward and it's throwing your distance off. And your arm's a lot more static. Did you have a game plan going into this bout or by this point? Or were you just trying to do things as they come? That was almost good. That's a good sense of, that was a good place to be for distance wise. That was really good. I think I'm missing something about your fencing um, that I'm just not quite understanding, but because you're getting your touches and it, it seems repeatable, but I'm not quite understanding how. One more time. Just get closer. Well, he's gonna, he hits you a lot when you get closer. So that was really good. You caught a step forward and snuck on his pair to go low. That was really nice. can't just because you can't just get close you got to get closer with a plan so here's the ref uh, moving them to the center a space I was looking at chat yep that was some thinking you were gonna go backwards and you you held your ground and and hit him that was really good Uh, I don't know about that one. I think that was the second, the second action. Um, but either way, don't look at the box. Again with the low shot. Very well done. Had to be a little bit more distance aware there. A lot of this is coming down to what you do on his step forward um, and how that relates to what he thinks you're gonna do on his step forward. And that's a fine way to fence, that's, that's a good fencing, but it doesn't look like you're fully aware of that. So that's something to think about is um, what's the distance and how, are you, how is it changing and how does he think it's gonna change? Yeah, it happens sometime, honestly. Hit you in the mask and you thought he touched. And, you know. Yeah, you're not moving as much as you were before. And you missed again. This is when being a little bit more relaxed would be useful. 
Because when you find your opening, you're you're falling short a lot. Like that one. There you got just got caught not moving. Now you're now you're you've given up. I can see because your arm is so tense and stiff and static. You're just trying not to get hit instead of trying to hit him. But that's not how you fence. You got to fence to win, not to not lose. Well, it's not that lunges didn't work. Your lunges were short. You shorted your lunges. Uh, so, you know, you can lunge this far, or I guess from your perspective, it's this far, and great. But if you lunge this far with your more relaxed body, a more, a more explosive lunge, then the same touches you thought you were doing before that you were failing at will start working. And that's, that's the key there is uh, relax, be a little bit more... I'm thinking my way through this. So the keys for you there are 